Hi, I am Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. I am a soul sculptor. I help you break the mold of past trauma, narcissism, abuse, and all those things that we don't like to think about so that you can live a life of joy like I do, like me. Okay, so there is a lot happening on our planet today. There are ups and downs, lots of emotions stirred. Uh, we are stuck at home, possibly with loved ones. We, we may feel stressed beyond belief. And then of course, there's fear and worry. So what do we do with all of this? And, and what I want to just express to you is the truth that with everything that's going on right now, it is not uncommon to break down and cry. It is not uncommon to feel intense emotions. There's a lot happening. So be kind with yourself, be gentle. And you know, if you cry, there's nothing wrong with that. I had a good cry yesterday morning. Yes, I did and I feel a whole lot better as a result. So why would we cry? Well, we might cry because, you know, in my case, I, I spoke to my mom, you know, the day before, and I, I had this little filtered message from the universe, you know, maybe you won't see her again. I have to consider that that's a possibility. Do I dwell on that? No, but you know, it's, it's that, that thing that, that plays in the unconscious, that the unknown, what we don't know can scare us. And so to, to be able to overcome this uncertainty with our loved ones, especially let's just say, you know, maybe you have a loved one that you haven't spoken to, somebody requested this. So uh, a loved one that you haven't spoken to in some time, and maybe there's tension there we don't want to have tension between us and a loved one now with all this uncertainty. So what do you do? Okay, so I'm going to give you a beautiful exercise that can create miracles. And this is called the pink light technique. It is not mine. I didn't, I didn't have it downloaded to me. It was given to me by a couple of my spiritual teachers about, uh, let's see, back in 2010, so um, about 10 years ago, 11 years ago. Okay, so it's the pink light technique. So what do you do? You envision a bowl, a big bowl, big bowl, a fluffy pink icing and a spackling knife or a cake icing knife. You know, one that it's just nice. It doesn't have a sharp edge to it. And, and basically what you do is you, you envision yourself dipping that cake spackling knife into that fluffy pink icing. It's real light and fluffy. And you spackle the person that you love that communication hasn't been going well, that maybe you're not even speaking to. Maybe you're not on speaking terms. Maybe you've had a rift in an argument that has gone on for some time. So what do you do? So you have this big bowl of fluffy pink icing and you dip your imaginary cake icing knife into that icing and you spackle that person head to toe. And in your mind, you flip them all around and you spackle them head to toe, feet, top to bottom, flip them around, spackle them again. And every time you think of that person, that you have a rift with, if you have bumpy communication or maybe there's even hatred between you and you want to resolve the relationship, you do not need to have a conversation with that person. You can heal the relationship without words. Heal the relationship with this fluffy pink icing and it works beautifully. And if you've ever had this experience, just right below, can you, can you say, did it work for you? Because I know that there's somebody that's watching right now that had a beautiful blessing, a beautiful miracle happened within, and, and this was a, a relationship that was really broken. It looked irrevocable. It looked like it couldn't be repaired. And so um, this person took 
the word that I express, the explanation of this pink fluffy icing, spackled this person head to toe. Every time she thought of him, she spackled him from head to toe with this pink fluffy icing. And within, it was less than two days, less than two days, a, mir a miraculous event occurred and she got to see her family. She got to see her new grandchild. And, and this was a irrevocably broken relationship. So the pink fluffy icing works. What is it? Well, it's love. And, and it's sometimes very hard for us to send someone love when they're hating on us, when they're, oh, I hate you, or say, who knows what they're saying. So it's it, this pink fluffy icing, it's love. You're spackling them with love. You're healing the relationship from a soul level. It is miraculous. So this is something that <laughs> I highly recommend. And then the other thing is, we talked about this from the beginning. Okay, so Star West, it worked for me in no time at all. And the relationship had been irreparable for I can't see. And she thought forever. Yes. She thought she thought she'd never see her son again, thought she'd never see her grandbaby, and it worked. It was amazing. So don't lose faith. The thing that we all need to stay in is faith. And we cannot occupy two places at once. We cannot be in faith and be in fear at the same time. It's impossible. We cannot be in a state of love and in hate at the same time. It's impossible. So what we want to do is be in faith. We want to be in faith. Everything is in divine order. All these things that are happening right now are divine. If you think God doesn't know what's going on, you got another thing coming. God knows exactly what is coming on and what is happening. Believe me, it's all in divine order. However, we all need to pray for each other. We all need to stay in a state of love. Uh, yesterday, I cried for the people of Italy that died. I cried for the people of China that died. I cried for the people in the United States that are um, not social distancing. I cried for the people that have recently died here in our country. I, I cried for everybody. I cried for myself and you. And so crying isn't a bad thing. Don't think of crying as being a negative. As a matter of fact, you know, short of making love and having sex, and that may not be top, you know, number one on the hip parade for you right now, but making love with your loved ones, that one loved one, it, it's whoever it is that you love. That if you are both safe to do so, not exposed to the coronavirus. So I'm wanting to make sure that you know to be safe um, when you're having that kind of closeness with somebody. But making love is another way to release the stress of all that is going on. But crying is not a bad thing. It's not. And, and so lovingly accept where you are at. Meditation is one of the fastest ways to soothe the soul. It is one of the quickest ways to get grounded. And I do have a meditation. I've got several videos that teach how to meditate. But the Divine Presence Process Meditation, Divine, the Divine Presence Process Meditation on YouTube is, it's a really beautiful meditation. It is the one that helped to awaken me back in 2012. So I hope this helped. The pink light technique, I, I actually, I ha it's part of my course that is in my Valentine's package. It, there are, I think I, I share six or seven techniques to heal yourself in my uh, Love Yourself Fearlessly program, in my Tainted to True program. Uh, this, you know, the, the, the work that I have done is documented and it works. I know it does. So stay in a place of faith, stay in a place of love love yourself, love your people, call your friends, and most of all, 
make sure you're meditating. So stay off the TV. I, you know, I have not watched one Netflix movie since this whole thing started, since the quarantine be teen began. I've not watched one Netflix and uh, they billed me again and I just, I canceled it because I, I, I'm not going to watch movies. This is not what this time is for. This time is for us to go inward, to learn to love ourselves. You're welcome. So I'm sending you lots of love today. I love you. Be safe. Be still. Be silent. Get to know who you are and lovingly accept who you are. And so um, the kinder that we are to ourselves, the more compassion we have for us, the more love and compassion we have for others. I'm Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. I hope you've enjoyed this. So much love and gratitude for you. It is a lot more fun to be talking to you than to be speaking to myself in silence without you watching. So thank you for being here, sending you love, lots of blessings, and tomorrow we're going to do a meditation together. I'm not sure what time just yet. It, it may be noon my time, which is 3 Eastern. So that's my, that's my goal for tomorrow is to do a live meditation with you. We're going to be sending up prayers, but we'll meditate together. I'll give you lots of tricks that I have learned over time. Lots of love, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. Mwah. Stay safe.